So I don't know what a cyberlip is. There, I said it. But it doesn't matter because what Cyberlip really is, is a computer that struggles with some pretty bad internal issues. And I don't mean like internal hardware, more like psychologically insane. My name is Cyberlip. I am the supercomputer you are looking for. I am not insane. I have just been evilly reprogrammed. Okay. So the first rule of insanity, or recognizing insanity, is that if someone or something says that they are not insane, then you should realize by every measure that they are entirely crazy, insane, and should not be in your nearest vicinity. And it also goes for computers claiming that they are evilly programmed, because as we all know, there are no such things as evil programs. Unless his name is Windows 8. Anyway, Cyberlip has some awesome voices that go right along with this awesome action right from the start. Ready, go! I love that. It gets you entirely pumped to shoot insane computers. And I have a feeling that the enemy fleet doesn't necessarily like your aptitude to, well, kill him. Get him! Now that is the sound of an alien completely pissed off. You can feel all of the anger when they scream it. And when they see that blonde buzz cut in cybernetic Oakleys, they are ready to take you out. And when you do get taken out, at least you have the decency to let command know that you're dying. I'm a gunner. I guess that goes both ways though, because along with some info about the mission that you're about to take on, headquarters also offers a morale booster. We can barely hear your message because of the strong energy wave. The computer room is in front of you. Do your best. Oh yeah. I forgot to also mention that you actually have a direct line to the president. I'm guessing so he can get real-time updates about how the mission is going. So once he hears, I'm a goner, he'll know to say, well, I'm out of here. Have fun being alien bootlickers. On the other hand, though, at least it's nice to know that somebody else has your back. And they also give you updates about obstacles that you need to watch out for. Look out below. Look out behind you. Watch out. That's cool. It's like a, a narrating radar, and that's incredible. Even more incredible is that they decided to go with a hero with a receding hairline. I mean, he really must have the combined confidence of all humanity to fight an invading army fleet and baldness at the same time. Maybe he's filled from all that confidence that the good old president gave him. The military android has landed in the old town area. Proceed to that point right away and stop them. You are the last hope. Good luck. See? He even calls him the last hope. Like everything rests on the shoulders of, I don't know, let's call him Greg. Go, Greg! Fight for alopecia. And also, as sad as Cyberlip's story is, well, it gets even sadder, spoiler alert, if you happen to witness the ending. Mission completed. You have done a good job. There are no more obstacles in our way. The Earth is ours. Wait, what? The Earth is whose? The Earth is ours. Okay, but what's yours? The Earth. And whose is it? Ours. Damn. Well, I just spent like $8 in 90s money on this game, and you telling me that the bad guys win, and I can't, or Greg, do anything about it? Watch out! Shut up! What does it matter? I'm a slave to this red-eyed idiot. Whatever. I take back what I said about insane people and computers now. Yeah, just trust your viruses. Welcome, malware. It's good for you, trust me. They're all just trying to stop Android presidents from taking over humanity. Another one bites the dust.